vocoders are typically used to make human voices sound like musically pitched robot voices by using a real human voice to modulate a carrier signal provided by a synthesizer. In a previous tutorial, we used a guitar instead of a synthesizer for the carrier signal. Today, we'll use a synthesizer for the carrier signal, but instead of a human voice, we will use an acoustic drum loop as the modulator. I have an acoustic drum loop loaded into a Dr. Rex loop player, and it sounds like this. Now I'm going to drag in a spider audio merger and splitter, which I'll be using later. Next, I'll drag in a Thor polysonic synthesizer, and then the BV-512 digital vocoder. Click the Tab key to flip the rack around, and let's make some audio connections. I'm going to expand Dr. Rex's mix channel, disconnect Dr. Rex's outputs from the mixer, and then connect them to the splitter portion of the Spider Audio Merger and Splitter. I want to merge the left and right Dr. Rex outputs to a mono signal, because the modulator input of the vocoder is mono. Since it's a stereo drum loop, I might miss some information if I simply connected only the right or left channel to the vocoder. Now I'll connect another identical pair of Dr. Rex drum loop outputs to the inputs of Dr. Rex's mix channel, so that we can mix in some unvocoded drum loop later. For the moment, I will bypass the vocoder so that I can hear Thor without Thor being modulated by the drum loop. Next, I'll click the Show Programmer button, and then I'll click F4 to see the on screen piano keys. Right click on Thor and select Initialize Patch so that we can all start on the same page setting up Thor. Now, what we have is a simple analog sawtooth waveform. Turn the filter cutoff frequency all the way up, and you can hear the sawtooth completely unfiltered. Change oscillator 1 to a noise oscillator, and you'll hear white noise. Choose color for the noise type which is warmer sounding than white noise. Turn the amp envelope sustain all the way up. Now I'll turn the vocoder on, start the drum loop, and play a key to trigger Thor. Oh yeah, hold. I'm going to switch the vocoder to four bands. Turn up the high frequency emphasis all the way, and turn down the shift control to about 9 o'clock. Check out the difference in sound you can get by adjusting the decay. Since the only sound we are hearing is coming from Thor, we can use Thor's filters if we want. For a little more high-end definition, we can add a second oscillator, this time using white noise. Route this through the second filter slot and into Thor's amplifier. You could use any filter you like here, but I'm sticking with this low-pass filter. Of course, we are not limited to using noise oscillators. We can add some chorus. Some room reverb. Bring our unprocessed drum loop back in. and add a bit of tempo synced delay.
vocoders. They're not just for robots anymore. 